Well, if a suspicion on the uh, on the rectifier having troubles is partly because look at the state of that the earth. So I'm going to give this one a scrub, and when I get my new rectifier, hopefully then it'll have a nice earth, and we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. I don't know how this wire brush is going to bring this one up, but it's one way to find out. My 1952 drill. fins pretty good I'm gonna put a small brush on there now and try and get down these bits pretty happy with that right, let's see if we can, uh, we can get down that hole there fingers that's come up all right isn't it when I put the uh, rectifier back in here, I'm going to use some kind of thermal compound like we use in computers to get the, and, um, what we're calling it, heat sink onto the processor and it helps you transfer heat. So I'm pretty pleased with that, that's come up a lot nicer. We'll get a much better earth because your rectifier um, uses. This cable. One of these. Not sure where it was. It was on one of these. And if it hasn't got a good earth, the voltage can spike and your regulator doesn't deal with it. So this may have been the problem for the failure in the first place. I'll try to get a little before and after picture with that. I'm pretty pleased with that for uh, a quick wire brush, a few minutes job.